Hello, my friends. Good morning again. It's Miss Kendra from Learn and Play Montessori School. I'm really happy to see you. How are you doing today? Really good? Did some of you are feeling tired? Maybe because it's so cloudy all the time. Yeah? Yeah? We need some sunshine, I think. You think so? That would be nice. That would make me smile. Now, let's take a look at the calendar. Come on over here. Um, how many days are in the week? Yes, there are seven days in the week. Let's sing our seven days of the week song with our seven fingers out. Do you have your five over here and two over here? You do? Fantastic, let's sing together, ready? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. What day did we clap on? Was it Wednesday? Thursday? Yes. Why? Yeah, because today is Thursday. Exactly right. Today is Thursday. Yesterday was. Yeah, yesterday was Wednesday. That's right. Yesterday was Wednesday. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow. Get ready for Friday. That's right. Are you feeling ready for Friday? No? Okay, well then we'll just make our way through Thursday then. Okay? Now, yesterday was the second day of September, which means today is the third day in September. Three. Now, I have a question again. How many months are in the year? Twelve months. Yes, there are. Let's take all of our fingers out. Sing our 12 months of the year song. You ready? There are 12 months. There are 12 months. There are 12 months in a year. There are 12 months. There are 12 months. There are 12 months in a year. January, February, March and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November and December. These are the months of the year. Fill them with joy and with cheer. The months of the year. Awesome. Are you doing your dance moves with me? I love that. What month is it right now? September. You're always right. How do you do it? Well, you're listening and paying attention. Your ears are working good. Now, what year is it? 2020. Let's say the date all together. Today is Thursday, September 3rd, 2000. 20! Exactly right! Now, what are we going to do on Thursday, September 3rd, 2020? Hmm. I wish I could hang out with a friend. So, I'm going to make a card. I'm going to do some coloring. Will you guys do some coloring with me? Yeah? Okay, cool. I'm going to get my card. So I can make my card. And stay right there. I'm, gonna, I'm hoping to see a friend, so I'm going to get a mask. Okay. Here's my crayons. And here's my card. And I wish I could see all of my friends right now, but sometimes I can't see everyone. 
So I'm thinking about making a card. Hey, it's, did you see that? Somebody just, oh, maybe, maybe she can be my new friend. She's coloring too. Should I ask her? Should I say, what should I say? Ask, tell her my name? Ask her name? Okay, that's a good idea. Hi. Hi. I'm Miss Kendra. What's your name? I'm Miss Alice. It's Miss Alice. Miss Alice, I am coloring too. Can we color together? Mm, okay. Ooh, I'm making a card for my friend. Do you want to make a card? Yes, I do. I folded my paper in half to make a card. You want to try? Okay. Like this? Yeah. Sometimes my mom helps me, and that's awesome. And I also was going to rip this purple paper. Do you like to rip papers? I do. Do you want to do that with me? Yes, I do. Okay, here's your purple paper. Did you wash your hands? Did I wash my hands? Of course I did, Miss Alice. I wash my hands before everything. You too? Yes? Okay, fantastic. So let's rip our papers into small pieces. This is fun. This is fun to do with my friends. Like this? Yeah. And any shape is okay. Do you make art with your friends? Can you make art with a new friend? Yeah? Let's see here. Now, can I borrow your glue? Yes. And we're sharing the glue with our clean hands. Life is so good. I'm gonna put dots so I can make my card fancy. Do you want some glue, Miss Alice? Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Do you say thank you? Do you say please? I like your thank you, Miss Alice. Really awesome. You're welcome. Okay. That was really fun. Maybe I will make this card for my new friend. I can write to Miss Alice. To Miss Alice. And you're my new friend. From Miss Kendra. Now, do you think this card is ready to give to Miss Alice right now? Or is it wet? It needs to dry? Okay, I'm gonna go let it dry, and then maybe I'll see Miss Alice later, and we can give her my card. Does that sound good? Awesome, that's fantastic. Wow, Miss Alice, yours is beautiful. Thank you, and I'm gonna make my card for you too, my new friend. Ooh, I love making new friends. Thank you for being my new friend. And thank you for being my new friend. Yes, Ooh. life is so good with more friends. I am feeling so happy. And do you think Miss Kendra and Miss Alice are going to tuck our chairs? Mm-hmm, yes we are. Yes, we are, of course. When we're all done with our work or jobs or fun, we tuck our chairs and I'm gonna set this to dry. That's awesome. I really enjoy making new friends. Did you have fun making new friends? For me, through me, yeah, that's awesome. Now, I 
learn some new words for friends. Can you say amigos? Amigos? Good job, nice try. Amigos is friends in Spanish. Amigos, you are my amigos. And Miss Alice and all my friends here at Lennon Play Montessori School are all my amigos. We're all friends. And so you can know that you have so many friends and learn and play, right? Yes, and maybe we can make cards for some of our friends. That sounds really fun. We can rip some papers or we can make it any way we want a card. And we can say, for my amigos, for my amigos. Let's go take a look at some of those words in Spanish. Okay, come on over here. Do my friends have a worksheet that looks like this? You do? Okay, so let's look at Miss Kendra and we're gonna say these words together, okay? Where does Miss Kendra work? Where do I work? Where is Miss Kendra? School, at school, that's right. And in Spanish, we say school, escuela. We can say escuela. Can you look at Miss Kendra and say escuela? Good job. And who is Miss Kendra? Miss Kendra is a astronaut. Miss Kendra is a Superhero? Not quite. Miss Kendra is a t teacher. I'm your teacher. That's right. In Spanish, teacher teacher is maestro. Maestro. Teacher. Maestro. And next to these pictures, escuela, school, maestro teacher. Amigos is friends. Escuela is school. Maestro is teacher. And amigos is friends. Let's write our name up top on this paper and do some coloring. I can't believe it's already September, my friends. Really. Now let's see here. This is a school. Can you say escuela? Escuela? Fantastic. What color is your school? Well, our, at Irvington, we have a lot of green colors. So I'm gonna use my green crayon to color my school green. What color is the room that you are in? Right, lots of my friends are at school at home. But you can still call your space your school because that's what we're using it for. Let's see what color this crayon is. Ooh, it's a really fun pinky purple color. I like that color. Now our school looks so colorful and happy. Escuela, so colorful. Escuela, school. And here is a teacher, maestro. Teacher, maestro, can you say maestro? Fantastic. Let's see, I wonder if your teacher can have, can your teacher have hair like this? 
You think Miss Kendra should have hair like this? No problem. No problem. Tomorrow. I'm just kidding. And a red top and an orange skirt. We really like colorful friends, huh? Yeah. You think it's a green apple? Definitely. Maestro, teacher, maestro. And here are some, who are those people? They are friends. We can say amigos, amigos. Can you say amigos? Awesome. And these amigos really like a green shirt. And yellow pants. And she has yellow hair. And let's see here. I think this friend has blue hair. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Blue hair and a blue skirt. She must really like blue. This is really silly. Blue hair, gotta be kidding me. Awesome job, friends. So we have escuela, school in Spanish. Maestro is teacher in Spanish. Amigos is friends in Spanish. Awesome job, guys. So we are going to, oh, We are going to sing a song together. Are you ready to sing a song? You are? Okay, awesome. So I'm just gonna help my friend and let her know that you can turn it off and then hold it that way and then you can turn it back on. So you guys, thank you. I'm gonna tuck my chair first. And now I'm going to put my paper back. And I feel like a song. I feel like a song. Do you feel like a song? Do you feel like a song? Yes, you do? Okay, fantastic. And now we sing the Will You Be a Friend of Mine song all this week. Are you ready to sing it with me all the way? Awesome, fantastic. Let's do it. One, two, three. Will you be a friend of mine, a friend of mine, a friend of mine? Will you be a friend of mine and hop around with me? Are you standing up? And hop around with me. Will you be a friend of mine, a friend of mine, a friend of mine? Will you be a friend of mine and dance around with me? And dance around with me. Will you be a friend of mine, a friend of mine, a friend of mine? Will you be a friend of mine and wiggle around with me, and wiggle around with me? Will you be a friend of mine, a friend of mine, a friend of mine? Will you be a friend of mine and clap around with me, and clap around with me? Thank you! Will you be a friend of mine, a friend of mine, a friend of mine? Will you be a friend of mine and turn around with me, and turn around with me? Will you be a friend of mine, a friend of mine, a friend of mine? Will you be a friend of mine and say hooray with me? Hooray! Awesome, friends. I like when we get moving. It makes our bodies work, right? Yeah, awesome, okay. Now, we did so many things, but we haven't done any counting today. Let's do some counting. 
And we have a math worksheet that has our really awesome number on it. It is our, what is this? Our number three, that's right. This is our number three. Now, let's take a look. Let's put our name up top. And can you tell me what number is this again? Number three, that's right. And when we are practicing our number three, we are gonna do some tracing. Can we make sandpaper numbers at home? Yeah, you can make sandpaper letters and numbers at home. Let's take a look at this number and trace this number. Can you take your pointer finger and your middle fingers out and together? They're ready to go? You got your tracing fingers ready? Okay, let's trace our number three. We're gonna be going from the top down. We're going around and down, around and down. Okay, let's do it quietly. Awesome job, friends. Now, we did that because we said the number. Now we trace the number with our fingers. Now we're gonna trace the number with the pencil or crayon. What are you guys thinking? You're feeling a pencil or crayon? Crayon! Okay. Orange? No? Okay, what color? Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm just gonna pick. I found a purple. Let's trace with purple. Around and down. Number three. Let's trace with three colors. Purple, green, and red. It's beautiful, awesome. Now we have some other pages for more tracing practice. Right, what number is this? Three, yes, thank you. And what number is this? Yeah, this is our three, that's right. So when we're at home and tracing our threes, we're gonna use our two fingers to trace first, and then we're gonna use our pencil and crayon. Now I have these really cute pom-poms. Do you guys know what pom-poms are? Yeah, these are pom-poms. And sometimes I use them a lot because they're fun for art and, and for, well, mostly for art. <laughs> but we can see, can you help me count these pom-poms? You can? Okay, I'm gonna put all the yellow pom-poms over here and all the black pom-poms here and all the white pom-poms here. So we can count all the pom-poms. Can you say pom-poms? Pom-poms, fantastic. Now, let's count all the fluffy black pom-poms. Can you help me count with me? One, two, three. How many black pom-poms do we have? Three, excellent. And let's count the yellow pom-poms. Pom-poms, how many times do we say pom-poms today? 
One, two, three. Three yellow pom-poms. Fantastic. Let's count the white pom-poms. One, two, three. Three white pom-poms. Now, we have some different colors. I'm going to take one pom-pom from each color and we can see how many colors do we have. One white one, one black one, and one yellow one. So let's count, see how many colors do we have. One, two, how many colors do we have? Three, exactly right. Three colors. And we have three of each color. That's really cool. Thanks for looking at our number three with me today. Now, I feel like making some more art. It was really awesome making art with our new friend, Miss Alice. Even if we know Miss Alice, right? Yeah? And do you have some paint and some hands? Okay, perfect. I'm gonna tuck my chair so I can get my supplies. Cause when we make art, we need to get everything ready. Cause we don't wanna make a mess, right? We want it to be able to clean up. So I'm gonna tuck my chair first. And I'm going to get my artwork. So, my friend should have a paper that is blank. And then, this is where we get to have a little bit of messy fun. Okay? We can get help from mom and dad to paint our hands green. Because like a stamp, we're going to get green paint and put it on the paper. Okay? Are you ready to do that with me? Okay. Watch Miss Kendra paint her hand. Does that seem silly? I think, do you think it's going to be cold or hot? It's cold. So cold. That's okay. Push through. Oh. Oh, that's okay, it's okay. Feels, feels messy, but it's okay. It's gonna be flowers soon. Who likes flowers? You do? Me too. Okay, ready to open up your fingers and push down. Wow, do you see that? Now those fingers are gonna be the stems of my flowers. But first, before I'm ready to paint on top of my stems, I decided to let, I wanted to let it dry first. So I pre-prepared something yesterday. Oy, oy, oy. Green hand today. That's okay. And I brought it with me so that we could do some painting. You see that? This is all dry for Miss Kendra. And I'm going to go ahead and put my name back up top. And Now, here I put both of my hands. So now I'm gonna paint and make it flowers. Do you like flowers? I have purple, red, pink, and yellow. But you can use any color. 
And maybe not all my flowers will be the same. Some will be the same and some will be different. Okay. And if we spill, what do we do? We clean up, yeah. Sometimes we spill on accident and when we do, we clean up, that's all right. We can make our flowers look however we like. What kind of flowers do you like? Fluffy flowers? Orange flowers? What kind of flowers do you like? Yeah, maybe we can add some pom-pom. One of our flowers can be a puffy flower. A little puffy flower. And then that puffy flower can have nice purple petals. Purple petals all around. Okay, my friends, do you see that? Yeah, what's another color flower sounds good to you? Purple and pink together? Okay, let's put purple and pink together. And a little purple and yellow together. There's one more for pink. And let's put some purple and pink together. You guys have really awesome ideas. Now, what about leaves? Do plants have leaves? Do flowers have leaves? Yeah, I'm gonna give my plant some leaves. Do you want your plant to have some leaves? We can save a little bit of that green paint for our leaves. <laughs> and maybe we could do this with a friend. Would you like to do art with a friend? Yeah, that would be so cool. I would love to do art with a friend. And we could do art like this that's really fun and gets our hands all funny colors. Or we could do different art like, like our cards, right? We can make cards for our friends because I really like to make my friends smile. Do you really like to make your friends smile? You do? So what do you wanna do with your friend? Art? Painting? Stamping? Jumping? That all sounds amazing. I'm really excited for our friends to be able to share cards and artwork and maybe we can see each other on the computers and we could do some dancing together, right? Yeah, let's talk to mom. We'll see what we can do, right? Yeah, okay, you guys. Have a wonderful Thursday. I'm going to see you tomorrow on Friday. Bye-bye.